Hey guys, my name is Catherine and I love thrifting. Today I'm going to take you to one of my favorite thrift shops. It's located in the Middle Eastern country of Jordan in the city of Urbid. So it's right outside of Amman, about an hour away from Amman, and it has so many cool things, especially the boots, lots of Sperry, lots of Sorel, lots of um, stuff along those lines. So I can't wait to show you what they have there and what I got. So I'm going upstairs now because we were just in the kids section. I couldn't really find anything that my children needed there. So I'm looking through some of the clothing items now. In the thrift shops in Jordan, you see a lot of European brands and Turkish brands and also brands that are um, right there in Jordan, things that are made in Jordan in the Jordanian factories. But you also see a lot of brands that we are film familiar with in the United States. Among those that you see a lot of are H&M, even Kmart and Walmart's brands. And also you see a lot of Esprit, I think I'm pronouncing that right. Um, and one thing that they have that I absolutely love is that they have a lot of um, designer shoes and boots that you really don't find in a lot of American thrift shops, but you can just find them very plentiful in the Kingdom of Jordan. Another brand that I love finding in the Kingdom of Jordan that we'll find later on in this video is a Spanish company called Desigual. And I have found so much amazing stuff from Desigual uh, over in the Kingdom of Jordan. On this thrift shop outing, I was looking for a good pair of rain boots. It's been raining a lot here in the Kingdom of Jordan, and there are a lot of puddles for some reason. I'm not sure what it's about, but there are a lot of puddles in the Kingdom of Jordan, and I keep on getting my feet wet and getting my socks wet. So I was like, you know what? I'm just going to find a pair of rain boots, or at least I'm going to try to. So we'll see if I actually get them. But I was looking for them for not only myself, but also for my son. And the boots that we saw in the beginning, those Paw Patrol boots, they didn't have them in his size. So I was disappointed about that, but they have rain boots all the time. So I know that I eventually will be able to find a pair. I was also in the market for a good pair of winter boots. It's a lot colder here in Jordan than I thought it was going to be. So I didn't really bring any winter type boots. I did bring a pair of hiking boots, but I don't really use them for general cold. They're not, you know, as comfortable as, as regular winter boots. So I was in the market for that as well. And I just figured I'd let you know. The prices that you're seeing here are in Jordanian dinar. And right now, the dollar is actually less than the dinar. So five Jordanian dinar is equal to about seven and a half American dollars. So every time you see a $5 price tag, just keep in mind that it's actually $7.50 for me in my American money. I absolutely loved these shoes. They're Adidas and they were like kind of like high tops, but just really fashionable and fun. But like a lot of shoes um, at these thrift shops, they're smaller than me. I have like size nine, 10 feet American size. And a lot of things are like six, seven, eight. So lots of things don't fit me.
So this here is my favorite section of this particular thrift shop. They have such great brands here in the rain boots and winter boots section. They have Sorrel, Merrill, uh, Sperry, Columbia, all the best brands that you could think of. So awesome. Right there, those are a pair of Palladiums and a pair of Sperry's that I'm trying on now. But let's see if they fit and if I actually get them. So the price tag on these Sperry's was $10 and the price tag on the Palladium boots was 12 So remember before I told you guys about the brand Desigual being all over the thrift shops in Jordan? Well, this is a Desigual shirt and I love it. I just love this brand. It reminds me so much of Spain. Ah. Uh, I wanted to see if you guys think that this is real Nike. I don't think so. I don't think it meets like the quality standards that I've seen in other Nike wear because Nike is pretty expensive back in the United States. And this sweatshirt just didn't have that feel. And I'll show you the zipper. The zipper was just not good quality. Um, it did have the swoosh on it. And then the swoosh was on the tag and the swoosh was on the embroidered on the jacket. So I don't know. Let me know what you think. I really loved these flats. They had a cute pattern and that espadrille look. But when I looked further, I saw this. Would you still have gotten them? Like, I guess I could have glued them back, but I didn't get them. All right, guys. So we are back from the thrift shop. Let me show you everything that I got. You know how much each of these things were so first off i got these palladium boots they look brand new possibly never used they're in such good condition and retail these are like 95 dollars. i'll show you a couple of pictures of them but they're really cute these are going to look really nice on me and i needed a good pair of boots so i am so happy with these look at this inside so cute i love them i told you i needed rain boots <laughs> got rain boots these are sperry they're canvas again these look new probably never used And I got the shirt, the Desigual shirt, which I got home and it does not fit. So I was really sad about that. It's a medium. I don't know if I should give it to my nieces or if I should wait until it fits me. I thought with a medium it would fit. I like, I don't usually have a problem with a medium. I think I'm gonna have to give it to my nieces because it's really cute. It looks brand new. This, this shirt in the United States would be like $100. It's so cute. Oh my God, I love it. So, total tally on everything that was spent. So this was $5 with 70% off. These were $12 with 70% off. And these were, how much were these? These were $10 with 70% off. And I was pissed off about that because the lady charged me more. These should have been $8 with 70% off. What is it? A dollar more? But in Jordan, a dollar is a lot of money. So I was kind of pissed off about having to spend that extra dollar. But I have rain boots now, so I'm a very happy girl. So anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you in the next video. And if you would like to see more thrift shopping videos around Jordan, including in Amman and the outskirts like Urban and such, let me know.